fold collapse forward into a deep, deep sleep. I'll be count of three awakening, sitting in your chair, and as I say, speak to you, collapsing back into a deep sleep. One, two, three, wide awake. Okay, sit up in your chair. You can shake your hand, mate. Relax. <laughs> now you I'm touching and you I'm touching upon awakening you will sit in your chair but when you look at me you're going to see the coolest bloke you've ever seen in your life anything I say anything I do you'll agree with no matter how stupid it sounds as a matter of fact when you awaken a big smile will overcome your face both thumbs will go in the air and they'll point towards me as if you were to say yeah you're the shit Anything I say, anything you do, you'll agree with, no matter how stupid it sounds. Awakening with a big smile on your face, thumbs on the air, one, two, three, wide awake. Hey, how you doing? You know what I, you can put him down. You know what I did? Today, I stuck a cucumber in my ass. Fucking oh, cool, man. Yeah. Put your hands down, put your hands down. It's okay, you can put them up anytime I say something cool, okay? Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, 20 years ago, before I started doing this, I didn't believe in hypnotism. This is honest to God, the truth. Because you know what? My idea of a hypnotist, most of the hypnotists I've ever met, this is my personal opinion, fucking weird people. Old guys in fucking tuxedos with pocket watches. and It's, it's a bunch of, I thought hypnosis was, a bunch of, was truly a bunch of bollocks. Hmm? <laughs> well, here's what happened. I had a girlfriend. 20 years ago, and I said to her, listen, let me uh, let me try to hypnotize you. And I was actually mocking it. I, I was honest to God, I was mocking it. But the strange thing happened is she actually went under by mistake, happened by accident. And uh, But I never knew she was really under. So uh, the way I proved it to myself is I gave her a few suggestions that I thought she would never do in the conscious state of mind. It's a true story. She fucking did them, and that's why I believed in it. <laughs> Now, ladies don't think I'm a pervert, because I didn't make her do anything bad. I just made her make the bed after we're finished. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cock is good, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you people up here, let me explain something. You hear all these horror stories from these hypnotists and all these things. Oh my God, somebody got fucked up for hypnotism, and uh, how does it, can I be hypnotized? Here's the reality. Hypnosis is indeed perfectly safe. The reason why is these other people, for some fucking god-awful reason, they want to make themselves look to have like some kind of special power. The reality is, you guys, it's a self-induced state of mind. That's why it's perfectly safe. Nothing can happen to you because it's anything you... If you if you go to chop your dick off, you wouldn't because, holy fuck, it's your dick. You're not going to chop it off. And ladies, not that you have dicks or anything, but maybe tits, you chop your dick. No, not, it wouldn't happen because the fact that you're not going to do that to yourself. Because it's a self-induced state, it's perfectly safe. Now, hypnotism is no different than falling asleep. You fall into the state of hypnosis every night before you go to sleep. You put your thumbs down. Just relax. Yeah, sit back, just relax. Yeah. 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 Now, ladies and gentlemen, being hypnotized is no different than falling asleep. You automatically fall into that state of mind. Do you know when you're not asleep, you're not awake, you're halfway in between? That's all the hypnotic state is. Think about it. Best example of hypnotism you're in a room, somebody begins to yawn. Can't help but the yawn because the fucker's yawning. That's a hypnotic state. Have you ever watched a television show that made you cry? That's a hypnotic state. You ever watch a television show that gave you 